What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally, after one week, when it comes to watchOS 8.6, it seems like we now have the third beta, which has just been released today. And for me on my Apple Watch Series 7, you can see the update size that it comes in at exactly 146 megabytes. And I was updating from watchOS 8.6 beta 2. Obviously, this is not all that Apple released today. If we go to the Apple developer page and go to where it says operating systems here, you can see some other updates that were released today. Mac OS 12.4 beta 3, iOS 15.5 beta 3, iPad OS 15.5 beta 3, as well as watchOS 8.6 beta 3 and tvOS 15.5 beta 3. Now, most of these updates I do cover here on the channel at half men half tech so if you want to stay up to date and know what's changed with these operating system updates then a sub to the channel would be appreciated while in safari here i would like to give out a shout out to our new website halfmenhalftech.com so this is a website where we create wow uh, products that we feel best resonate and describe our subscribers so if you'd like to support us on the channel check it out halfmenhalftech.com now here on my apple watch series 7 you can see i've already updated my device in fact if we go to the notification section you'll be able to see that your watch is up to date so we are now on watchOS 8.6 beta 3 and let's go ahead and look at some of the software settings that came with this update by the way what what do you feel about this watch band does it go well with this watch face for me i like actually sort of like it although this is the green um, case the 45 millimeter aluminium case but it does go well with this watch face that i have but if we go into settings go to general and then go to software update just to show you i'm up to date and if i go to the about this watch section you can see the new build number that we have and it's 19 t 5562 f now we now have an f at the end and coming from beta 2 we actually had an e at the end so in a sense we took a step back or one step in the negative direction which just goes to imply that when it comes to the release date of this update we still have quite a number of days before we see the final release so that's unfortunate now in terms of the new changes that came with this update initially when this update came out i tried to update from my watch like i usually do and i kept getting an error although on my iphone it was actually updating let me see if i could show you the video um the picture that i took so on my watch it was actually updating but on my um i mean on my iphone it was actually updating but on my watch i kept getting that error but after uh i power cycled my device like two or three times then it updated normally so that is something you can look forward to if you are on a beta hopefully you don't have to go through the same process now again when it comes to the new changes that i hear with watchOS 8.6 beta it seems like this update is a minor update since we are just a month in the way from this year's wwdc so not a lot has changed with this update it's just the normal that has been changed when it comes to apple pay so basically the physical apple card is now being referred to as the titanium card in one wallet settings and also Apple Pay has been rebranded as Apple Cash and the iTunes Pass has been rebranded as Apple Account Card in the wallet app. So there's a lot of changes that have to do with the wallet app and basically I like the one that has to do with the iTunes Pass because now instead of just seeing a QR code whenever you want to purchase or use your iTunes Pass, you now can use it like to purchase things at the Apple Store and you can also buy things things using the Apple Store application so that is a good change that came with this uh, update and also something that i want to show you i couldn't until now i still can't find a way to get this to work uniquely when it comes to this accessibility voiceover if you go down to hand gestures you can see here 
that magic tap I tried to experiment with it and I actually did select it but it, it, it wouldn't perform the actual magic tap let me know if on your device this is something that's working but other than that not at all has changed with this update like again I mentioned we aren't going to be seeing a lot of changes with this update since it's more of a bug fix update before we get to see uh, watch OS 9 that's going to come out at this year's WWDC version now as you can see it was last charged to 100% here when it comes to the battery performance at about 12 and right now it's 4 for 28 so it's been about four hours since I last charged and since I've been updating and also I've been looking for like new features and new changes so I can't really complain about the battery uh, performance that I'm getting in fact it seems like from watchOS 8.6 beta 2 it's sort of improved the battery usage and also the battery charging seems to be more faster than before so hopefully this means that for those people that were experiencing charging issues this resolves that now you can see here my battery health is still on 98 percent and on beta 2 it was actually on 98 percent so no change in that aspect now other than that that's how this update came in if you like this video do leave a like and stay safe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace